Venezuela has a new president. Well, kind of. On July 28, new presidential elections were celebrated in Venezuela to choose their president for the next six years, from 2025 to 2031. This spotlight was over two candidates, Nicolás Maduro, the actual and controversial president of Venezuela, and Edmundo González, the representation of the opposition and the representation of Maria Corina Machado, the greatest opposite leader right now in Venezuela. Despite the nice electoral climate and the good vibes that Venezuelans had, the results were unexpected. I mean, totally unexpected. Nicolás Maduro was declared the winner according to the results of the Electoral Council of Venezuela. But nobody, oh well, almost nobody in this country seems to believe in these results and they're accusing this organism to create these numbers to keep Nicolas Maduro in the power. But what is behind this victory? We'll be talking about this. But first, we need to talk about how this video is possible. So for that, I have to tell you about Languages Unlimited. And let me tell you, if you need any kind of services or you know someone who needs translation, interpretation or transcription services, you need to visit right now languagesunlimited.com because you will find there the best services of this kind and so many 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 more. So, you already know, I mean, honestly, they are the best. So you can just check it right now by yourself. They have more than 25 years of experience and so many services just for you. So please visit right now languagesunlimited.com and you can see all the list of services that they have for you. Now let's get back to our video. On July 25, Nicolás Maduro and Edmundo González finished their campaigns in Caracas. And let me tell you that both acts were full of people. Maduro had a huge crowd in his act, but there was uh, some kind of controversy there because a lot of buses were uh, were parking in the principal highways of Caracas. So he was accused of bringing people of other states to, you know, to fill the avenues where he has his act. On the other side, Maria Corina Machado filled Las Mercedes. All the streets and the avenues of this place in Caracas were just full of people. I mean, you can see in the images and it's unbelievable how many people attend to this act and this was recognized as an historic campaign closing event for the huge crowd they have and this inspired a lot of Venezuelans because on this day they created an atmosphere of change and for the first time a lot of Venezuelans believed in a real change with a mix of anxiety and hope, millions of Venezuelans await for July 28th. Some of them could not even hold back their excitement and they and they wait outside of the polling centers on Saturday night with really long lines already formed in various states. Finally, the election day arrived and millions of Venezuelans went to the streets to vote. The lines were huge. There were such a long line since uh, like 5 a.m. in the morning. You know, I haven't seen something like that since I was like six years old. And now I watch it again and, and the people was happy. They have hope again 
after so many years. And now, despite the heat and the sun, and in some parts the rain, people was just happy to be there, you know, to um, to vote for their candidate. In other countries, millions of Venezuelans all also voted, but um, you know, some unusual stuff happened here because more than four million people couldn't vote on July 28th and this was because the CNE Consejo Nacional Electoral didn't have enough available centers in other countries also in Venezuela many new voters couldn't register on the system to vote because of the obstacles from the electoral authority on the election day there were some issues in so many centers around Venezuela with um, machines malfunctioning and some suspicious activities taking place there. This led to the first altercations of the day, but so many Venezuelans tired of their reality and determined to protect their votes stayed out in the streets until night. After the polling stations closed, some other problems came along. Some witnesses weren't allowed inside the centers, and some militaries were blocking um, the doors of these centers too. They also blocked the entrance to those who want to uh, protect their votes, according to the instructions of Maria Corina Machado. Something that we need to explain here is that in Venezuela, the vote counting is manual. In this election, something uh, kind of unusual happened, and is that some citizens share the results of their polling centers in the social media. So people have some kind of idea about who was winning this election. In all the papers showed on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on WhatsApp and other social media, we saw a common pattern and it was that El Mundo Gonzalez had a lot of votes more than Nicolas Maduro. In polling centers that used to um, back up Maduro or Chavismo in the past, El Mundo Gonzalez was winning. So this increments the hope and the expectations for for millions of Venezuela who were awaiting for the results with so many hope and excitement. Companies like Edison Research analyze these elections and they indicate that Gonzalez was ahead of Maduro by almost a 30%. So all these things help people to believe, to believe that a change, a real change, had finally arrived. Some government allies like Jorge Rodriguez or Vladimir Padrino Lop were on TV and they were so sure that they had win that they even invite people to celebrate at the same spot as always. A couple minutes after midnight on July 29th, Elvis Amoroso, the president of the National Electoral Council, appeared in national TV and he announced the results based on the 80% of the counted votes declaring Nicolas Maduro the winner of the elections 51.2% of the votes while Edmundo Gonzalez had a 44.2% in that very second there was a total silence in almost all Venezuela in some other elections so many years ago when uh, the Madurismo or Chavismo used to win, you used to hear music, you used to hear fireworks, you used to hear people screaming, you used to hear uh, some kind of detonations, you used to hear uh, celebrations by the ones who support Nicolas Maduro or Hugo Chavez. But that day, nothing sound, nothing happened, there was a total silence. People was in shock, in real shock. Some people cry, some people scream. But soon after the results were announced, the disbelief 
in Venezuela turned to anger and millions began bagging pots and pans. This is, this is known as uh, a cacerolazo. About an hour later, Maria Corina Machado and Edmundo Gonzalez addressed the Venezuelans, with the opposition leader declaring Edmundo Gonzalez as the new president of Venezuela. She was not sad. She was not crying like a lot of Venezuelans. She was happy. She also claimed to have proof of what she was saying. And she congratulated Mundo Gonzalez for an historical number with an almost 70% of the votes. This began a new chapter in Venezuela political history. And a lot of Venezuelans start asking with the real numbers of these elections and they accused the electoral council of massive fraud they said that that results were fraudulent and were created to keep nicolas maduro in power it's nearly unbelievable that nicolas maduro had reached more than five million votes the international community also pronounced about this and they accused the official results as fraudulent, highlighting the stark difference in what's happening in Venezuela. So the next days are going to be crucial, could mean the real change of Venezuela are waiting for. And we are going to keep talking about this in the next videos. Until then, see you.